We finally have at least a little bit of new information regarding Respawn Star Wars game. We haven't heard anything about the title at all since E3 2016, where in EA's press conference that year they revealed a little 30 second or so development diary on how the game is coming along. And at that stage the game was very early in development, but obviously over the past two years the game's obviously been progressing over at Respawn. The interest level is relatively high for this game because ever since EA got the exclusive rights to publish Star Wars games, We've only seen entries released in the Star Wars Battlefront series being Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Obviously Visceral Star Wars game was meant to release probably before Respawns and that game is now being overhauled. So other than Battlefront and this new reimagining of Visceral's game which is probably very far off, Respawn's game is the only other Star Wars game that EA has in the pipeline right now. And today EA held their quarter 3 2018 earnings call and revealed a number of interesting tidbits and details regarding their games. With the most interesting being, at least for me, the fact that we now have a release window for Respawn's Star Wars game. Because EA CEO Andrew Wilson and the company's CFO Blake Jorgensen were discussing their future Star Star Wars games and they stated that Respawn Star Wars game would most likely drop in the physical year 2020 as opposed to another Star Wars Battlefront or a potential Star Wars Battlefront 3. Now physical year 2020 is the time span between April 1st 2019 and the end of March being March 31st 2020. So EA is aiming to release Respawn Star Wars game in that year's time span. Where previously I thought it was safe to assume that a Battlefront 3 would come out in that time span. They specifically mentioned that they had not decided on the timing for the next Star Wars Battlefront game to be released yet. I expected that game to come out in the fall of 2019, but now it seems that Respawn's game will probably fit into that slot, replacing Star Wars Battlefront 3. EA like to have a big fall game normally every year. This year, it's going to be a new Battlefield game from DICE, which has been rumored to be Battlefield Bad Company 3. And we know that Anthem has been delayed to some point in 2019, but it will probably be coming out at some point early or in the middle of that year. So that leaves an open spot in EA's upcoming lineup that we know about for their fall 2019 game, which is still a far way away. So it's obviously hard to predict what the industry is going to look like at that time, what AAA games are going to be coming out. However, I do think it is safe to assume if they're targeting a physical year 2020 for Respawn Star Wars game, that it will probably be their fall 2019 game. I think it's safe to say it will be coming out late October or in November sometime. This news is great and interesting because we haven't heard anything about Respawn Star Wars game and I've been really clamoring for information on it so now it's great that we are getting some details on it and I wouldn't be surprised if we get some sort of trailer or reveal of what it actually is going to look like at E3 this year. I may be getting a little bit overzealous there but I think it's possible. We still have no idea what kind of game it is. We know EA is pivoting their focus on microtransaction and games as a service so it's safe to say that this game will probably have online aspects and probably incorporate a lot of those elements but my hope is that it's still is going to have a big single player functionality because considering the only games they've released in the Star Wars franchise so far have been Battlefront games and yes the second game did have a campaign but those games obviously still have a major multiplayer focus so I would love to see Respawn's game have a single player focus. I'd love to see it become a third person action game personally something along the lines of perhaps what Visceral's game was going to become. I'm sure Respawn are going to make something great with the game. We did see in the dev diary that they did at E3 2016 that some guys were doing some mocap for lightsaber combat which looked cool. We do know also that Respawn is at least in pre-production for Titanfall 3. As for when that game releases, I really don't know. I would assume Titanfall 3 will release after this Star Wars game just because we knew about this Star Wars game's development before Titanfall 3 so I assume that the studio right now is working hard on the Star Wars game and Titanfall 3 is probably in pre-production phase and then when the Respawn Star Wars game is out they'll probably switch focus to Titanfall 3 which will probably come out in 2020 or something along those lines I would guess. But also the fact that they stated that they haven't decided on the timing for the release of the next Battlefront was quite interesting. Because the first Battlefront released in 2015 and then the second in 2017, I thought the next one was going to release in 2019 following that two year development cycle. But now they've made it pretty clear that that's not going to be happening. So that could be good news for Star Wars Battlefront 2, meaning that that game continues to hopefully get more free DLC and support than we originally anticipated because the third one isn't going to be coming out as quickly as we thought. At the end of the day, really, I just want to see EA putting out more quality Star Wars games. I enjoyed Battlefront 1. I'm 
enjoying Battlefront 2, but they've had this exclusivity deal for quite some time now, and they're the only games we've seen from it thus far. So I'm hoping that when Respawn's game comes out, it really delivers, it's really something unique and different. So as always, please leave your thoughts on this topic in the comment section down below. This has been Sir Kaz, please do take care and farewell.